So, my name is Nick, Nick Fallon. I am the Head of Enterprise at Edinburgh Napier University and uh, responsible for Bright Red Triangle, which is our enterprise hub here. I'm going to talk to you about a very specific programme called Start for Future. But first of all, I'll just explain a little bit about what Bright Red Triangle is. We are part of uh, the Research, Innovation and Enterprise Department. We sit in the knowledge exchange side of things along with Fiona and uh, our team and, and Matt with the C CPD and consultancy side of things. Um, and this is the Bright Red Triangle team. I'll introduce you to them. They're all in the room. Um, do you want to give a wave? Be our tears? There we go. I think I might need to uh, update Wendy's picture there at the top because she's got <laughs> considerably less hair uh, this year. Um, uh, we are um, a, a department that sort of works with students as well as academics. We work with our graduate community as well. Um, and we provide entrepreneurial support services. We have a, 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 a co-working space in our Bainfield um, uh, site, um, which is open, free work, work, hot desk space for any student, graduate or member of staff. Um, who's setting up uh, and running a business. And it's interesting, open to all graduates without time. I think we're unique, certainly in Scotland, in, in offering that service. So you could be gone 20 years and still come back and get access to the support that we offer. We provide advice, coaching, uh, training, um, and access to networks and opportunities for all aspiring entrepreneurs. Your QR code will take you to our, our um, web pages and you'll find out a little bit more about what it is that we offer. Um, it's essentially, as I said, that, that startup support, the, the training, and, and there's a piece about encouraging a more entrepreneurial culture right across the university. That's something that we're, we're really trying to do. Um, and I think that the thing is, come and talk to us about the opportunities. We are, it's not just about what happens in the university, it's our access to all the, the ecosystems and networks out there, and we, we can help um, people to access the things that they need, whether it's expertise within our uh, uh, entrepreneurship team, whether it's ex technical expertise across the university, or it's just meeting the right people, the right funders, whatever it might be. So that's what BRT offers. Um, but I wanted to specifically talk about um, Start for Future, which is an international open incubation program that we are a co-founder and partner in. Um, along with, it's now closer to 30 universities around the world that are participating in this. Um, we received um, funding in 2021 from EIT, as part of the HEI initiative, um, to run this program. It's actually it's something that evolved from 2019 in partnership with a, a group of universities led by a university in Munich um, that we've been piloting for a while. We got 2.4 million pounds um, across two consortia from the H EIT HE HEI initiative to run this thing. And there are four pillars to this program. So we provide an 11 month uh, open startup incubation program. And I'll, talk, I'll explain a little bit about that, what that does. But what we're effectively doing is sharing the resources of all the partner universities and the startups, the, the startup teams, uh, the entrepreneurs that come through this then have the opportunity to access the incubation services at any one of the partner universities. So it's really opening up global networks and opportunities to the participants in that. We have our Start for Future Academy. We've got a platform. The QR code will take you to the platform, which um, hosts MOOCs and other training, and a community of entrepreneurs that are part of that network. So I think since we, we launched at the end of 2021. There's about six or 700 people now using that platform that is growing all the time. And of course, the other thing about it is that it's opening up the, the regional innovation valleys, the, the ecosystems around Europe and beyond, um, so that you get, you get, you get that uh, opportunity to really uh, engage with international markets, to find partners, Pavlos has been through this program already and has found some of those pilot program partners um, through uh, his engagement here. Um, so it's, it's a great opportunity to look at those international networks. Here's just an example of uh, um, 20 of the, the partners involved. And there's a lot of European 
uh, institutions in here from, from Germany and Portugal, you know, Bulgaria to uh, Vienna, Ireland's in there too, but also we've got King's College in, in Nepal, you've got uh, um, Ryerson in Toronto, or the now called Toronto Metropolitan University, uh, La Trobe in Australia, we've got partners in, in uh, California and um, sort of other locations around the world in India and so on. So it's a real global network and it's a really interesting thing. The way that the programme works is there's, there's three phases. So it starts phase one in universities and this is where academics here, if you're interested in providing an entrepreneurship opportunity to your students, um, we accept entrepreneurial student teams uh, who are developing ideas uh, as solutions to, uh, we, we, we work with a number of themes, I'll talk about those in a second, um, but the students have the opportunity to, to join the programme, get a bit of an in, extra curricular entrepreneurial coaching and some feedback from some of these international networks and to develop their ideas. So that's a, a great way to drop entrepreneurial training into your academic programmes. Phase two, and this is where Pavlos joined, is where we open up to the startups in our networks. Uh, so startups can join and they go through um, a 10 week um, pre-incubation program to really developing their ideas. Each startup is assigned a business coach, a technical expert from industry. Um, and we also actually accept individual applications from students or what we call talents, people that are interested in becoming entrepreneurs or in joining a startup. And so they get a personal development coach, they get to pitch their eye themselves to the startups and there's the opportunity for the startup to augment their team with new people that are driven to join a startup. So all that happens in phase two and at the end of that you're pitching to go into phase three which is where you get to join the incubation programs at any one of the uh, uh, universities around the world. We do individual incubation in different locations but we will also co-incubate with other partners so we will work maybe two or even three universities incubating a business together. It allows you to access other uh, international ecosystems to perhaps get feedback. And the other thing is we're able to introduce our corporate co collaborators at the university to this network of startups. It means that we've got a bunch of startups with potential solutions. We've got these businesses that are looking for, uh, pr have problems that need to be solved. This is, this is an opportunity for us to connect those things up. So there are huge opportunities through the running of this program. We operate two cycles per year, and actually we're just, the, the deadline for people to join phase two, the match and start, is the 20th of January. So if you're interested in taking part in that, getting involved, talk to us, we can help you to look at the application process. These are the fields that we work with. So obviously we're funded by EIT Urban Mobility and we're also working with EIT Manufacturing. So we're looking for startup teams that are operating in these areas. These are pretty broad. So actually there's a real opportunity uh, for all kinds of startups to get involved. We're looking at, you know, there's a, there's a cyber team here and they are talking about health, but actually there are applications right across these fields here. So manufacturing mobility. Now the great thing is that through our EIT networks, we're opened up to industry experts across Europe um, who are able to provide um, technical support and advice to the startups coming through this program. Um, so again, if you're working, operating in these sectors and you're interested in getting involved in the program, this is very much something that we would encourage you to do. Um, and that really is all I've got to say about this program. I think. I've given a flash through, there are QR codes there to take you to the platform and also to take you to the bright red triangle pages. Um, but I think this is a really exciting program and a great opportunity uh, to look at an international network. So um, I'll be around later and if you want to have a conversation about that, please let me know.